Hello and welcome to my channel again. It's Lorraine here. Um, so, if you've been following uh, the My Valentine videos, you'll know um, that I have been doing a design team project for February um, for Sherry at Studio 2080 uh, Facebook group. And uh, I have done the My Valentine digital kit um, from Sherry's Etsy shop. I will put the link below um, and and then you can, oh, just one more, I'm just trying to get my phone to connect, there we go. <clears throat> so I will put the link below so that you can see the kit. It is absolutely beautiful and although it's a Valentine's kit, there is quite a lot of the kit that you can use in other projects so you don't have to just keep it for valentine's day um you know some of the papers you can use in in lots of different different ways so this is um the notebook that i've made from the kit i haven't measured it and i don't usually do notebooks so it's all new to me is this so it measures 20 and a half centimeters by 11 centimeters if you want that in english um imperial it's eight inches by four almost four and a half four and a quarter um i haven't counted the pages um but as we go through this um flip through video you will see how much there is in there so it doesn't have um a closure closure it has this lovely royal red ribbon i thought it was a very valentine's day color so that's why i used it so it just fastens up uh, and you can completely remove it um so you could change the fastening if if you chose to so on the front i have used this this is cardstock from um 12 by 12 digital paper that I had in my stash and I just thought that the red roses went so well with um, with uh, Valentine's Day so I'm hoping I've stayed on there because my video's playing up I apologise if I've lost you but I'll try not to do so, so I've used my own 12 by 12 I don't know where it's from because I inherited it from from somebody so but it just it just matched the theme I have used some um, French script digital paper um, to go underneath this topper that's from the kit from the my valentine's kit I've stitched around both the card topper and the French script the French script paper is from, I think, Ruby and Pearl XO. So you might want to check her shop out. I've put on these lovely um, floral sequins, sparkly red flowers on the front. Um, I just thought they went so well with the theme. So there they are. On the inside cover... I've used um, the 12 by 12 cardstock uh, and turned it into a pocket. I've put on this little cluster using some uh, cheesecloth, one of the hearts from the digital and a pearl, uh, flat back pearl, um, just to embellish that heart a little bit. And this little uh, dictionary quote. It comes with the kit inside of this pocket is this large tag that comes with the kit um, it's got this lovely quote um, may that thy hopes be as fair thy fortunes as sweet and this lovely rose on there lovely so I just took that inside of that pocket and then it's got this my valentine's vintage card in there and 
this is one of the digital papers uh, from the kit which is cute sorry it's getting a bit of a bobble on there from that from the pearl um so that's one of the digitals on this side um i've distress inked around the edges i've stenciled some roses on there and used this um for photograph on this page this isn't from the kit this is from my stash that's from another uh, i think it's from artie Mays, is this i've put a little sateen red flower in there again with the pearl inside just to decorate it slightly another page from um sherry's kit a lovely collage page so you've you've got journal space on there i've left this page almost blank i've just put some stenciled flowers on there but you've got journal space there you've got journaling space here on this um page from the kit um again journal space on on here i have just distressed around the edges and stenciled this uh, rose on there this is from the kit this lovely little cupid image with the hearts it's lovely a pocket this um, tag comes with the kit so i've turned it into a pocket and used two of the heart embellishments that come with the kit and inside of there is this my valentine's look at them busy making hearts for valentine's day <laughs> cute and then uh, a little envelope um, seed envelope that comes with the kit and i've just fussy cut one of the roses from the kit and put that on the front of that envelope um, i've distress inked everywhere and inside again is one of the four uh, photos inside of that envelope I've left this digital paper clear um, well I think what I've tried to do is alternate um, a digital page with a, a decorated page that theme doesn't always follow but that was one of my theories when I started and this is an envelope that's attached just by this um, paper clip. I will put some ribbon on there. In fact, I'll do it now while, whilst I'm here. So that it sticks out at the edge of the page. So I'm just using the same ribbon that's the closure on the front of the journal. I'll just double tie that. There we go. And it will hold the envelope on. The envelope is from um, Artie Mays. Uh, it's usually a, a larger one, but I've, I've printed it off smaller to fit in with this notebook. And on the front of it, I've just um, decoupaged one of the quotes from uh, Sherry's kit on love. And fussy cut and decoupage this rose on there. I have distressed it with pink ink all the way around just to fit in with the theme and inside there is another little journal card from the kit to my valentine they're delivering all the hearts there how cute is that on the bottom of this page is this little love is in the air and that's from sherry's kit as well so see so now that just sticks out again i've left this digital page as it is i haven't done anything with it this is a collage digital from the kit but i've just clipped on this envelope from the kit um, and it's got february the 14th on the front and inside another um for photo And I'll just clip that back in. It's just held in with a paper clip. Um, some stenciling on this side of this paper, and one of the let one of the words from the kit that I've just fussy cut and glued on there. And this has got some lace um, attached to the edge of that page. Another one from the digital. 
and again here on this page I've just stamped some corner uh, stamps it can be coloured in I guess it could be decorated further but I'm not going to be doing that I've made this pocket um, on this page with again from the kit Cupid's heart and a little love heart on there and two more journal cards two sweet little girls making a Massive Valentine's heart, fastening roses onto it. And then, again, little cupids, busy baking Valentine's hearts. Another um, page from the digital kit, and I've left that because it's quite good journaling space on there. A belly band. Um, on this page, I've stamped some script on there. And I've made this uh, journal card to go underneath this belly band. I have just used one of the toppers from the kit. I've used um, the Ace of Hearts card from a little pack that I've got. And fussy cut and decoupage to rose on there. It's blank on the back so that you've got journaling space in there. And then another uh, digital from the kit. And uh, this little sweet girl handing over flowers for Valentine's Day. This is from the kit and I've turned it into a little tuck spot. I've stamped and distressed this page. And it's just got this lovely Valentine's greetings card tucked in for journaling. Collage page um, that I've put a pocket on on the front. This is a, a miniature version of that giant one that's in the front of the journal cover. And again, a journal card tucked in there. Here I've made um, a tuck spot um, from one of the journal pages. Inside, I have just put some um, coffee stained paper. Um, so you've got lots and lots and lots of journal in space. Or you could, you could make it into like a little mini folder. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. I just thought journaling space was my priority for this little notebook. Again, another pocket from the pages of the kit. And this has got... It's got another... I'm getting it stuck there. Another um, page for journaling made up from a coffee-stained paper. And again, this page has the lace on the edge of it another just a uh, page from the kit and here with this one I turned it into a belly band and again inside the belly band you've got coffee stained paper for journaling another page I've just left so that you can um, journal on there this page is a collage page uh, that I, I did and it's got the lace trim on there. Another of the full journal pages um, and I've just left that so that you've got journal space. Here is a lovely card that comes in the kit. I've just embellished it slightly with this little love heart on there. It flips over. There's another card attached inside and then uh, one of the little seed envelopes and inside there is um, a little Valentine's journal card. There is space also at the back. I haven't got a card here. It is a tuck spot as well behind but I haven't put anything in inside there. So that's that flippy flappy thing. This page is from the kit and I have just put one of the four photographs and I've left it as a tuck spot. Inside of this tuck spot is one of the envelopes that I've just um, decoupaged on there. There is nothing in there. I need to put something in there. But um, for now, it can just tuck back in there. Here's a little cluster that I've made using one of the cards from the kit and the little I love you heart. Um, and it's got some uh, lace 
at the base, base of that and this cute little Dutch boy um, with his Valentine's letter <laughs> and this has been stenciled as this page another full page from the kit and this is a decoupage uh, page that I did and another full page from the kit and I've just added some of the lace trim on that side here is a corner pocket that I did I've just decoupaged with one of the hearts from the kit and one of the roses from the kit I have stenciled uh, on that page and inside is this little uh, journal card but what I have done is I have fastened it to some paper so that at the back of the journal card you can just unfold and you've got all of this journaling space so another cutie um, it's beautiful on this page I've left it clear I've left it blank apart from I did some stamping and some uh, distress around the edge and then this is one of the envelopes that comes with the kit but I've added this lace pocket to the front of it and inside is this little uh, envelope um, it's not an envelope it's just a fake envelope a full envelope and it's a journal card so that's that on the back I've added a closure so that the flap of the envelope just tucks behind there um, it's been distressed inside to age it and inside is one of the journal cards you can also tuck other bits of things in there you might have secret things that you want to hide in inside of these things so there's that again another lovely collage page from sherry uh, that i've just left here i've just stamped no i haven't stamped i've stenciled these floral motifs on there and then just did this little cluster with one of the hearts and one of the uh, word definitions from the kit and I've just added another one of the small playing cards from my stash and again it's got the lace trim on the edge of there this is one of the pages from the kit I love the collage page and you've got a place to to journal on there make notes this is the pocket flip turnout thing. So here we have, it was a tiny little envelope. If you've watched the previous video, you'll, you'll know. I was chuffed to bits because I, I got this in, an, in a package that I'd ordered some stuff and the little envelope came with the receipt in. I was thrilled to bits. <laughs> Sad. So it flips open here and inside it's got... Um, this little faux photograph and I've put I've just decoupaged one of the heart tabs on there and it's blank on the back for journaling this is one of the digital pages um, but I didn't I didn't use it for, for whatever reason I don't know why I didn't use it so what I did I've cut it down and I've turned it into a pocket um, I've backed it so it's backed on a book page to strengthen the pocket and inside I've used the other half of the page that I didn't use and I've turned this little cutie into um, a tall tag journal card so that just tucks in there and I've stenciled some of the floral motifs in there as well so she just sits inside of there Come on. And then another page from the kit, which is so sweet. See, these pages can be these these are the pages that can be used for many other projects. They don't have to be just for Valentine's Day. So again, I've made a pocket here um, from the 12 by 12 card, and it just shows how how much you get from one piece of 12 by 12 let me just show you what these are the only things 
that I've got left from the 12 by 12. So I have three pieces. Um, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to put that in there. And it can be a little journal card. So on this pocket, I just decoupaged one of the hearts from the kit and this little envelope ephemera piece that was in the kit. Um, it does have this. Was this in the kit? I think it was in the kit. Yes. Um, and so that's gone in there. I'm going to leave that at the front. Leave those two like this. So that, my dear friends, is my design team project for February. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you've watched it, please consider giving me a thumbs up that you like it and a comment if you do that it helps me to build my channel i am trying to build my channel and it seems to be taking me forever um but if you leave a comment it grows your channel and if you leave a, a thumbs up um please consider subscribing as well because i love having you all along um the comments i, I get are i try and answer everyone um, because they all mean so much to me um, so thank you for everybody who's left a comment so far as I've been doing this this kit. It, it really brightens my day and you don't know how much it means. So thank you very much. So enjoy the rest of your day um, and keep crafting.